Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. I'm Inga. This reading will be for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus between now and the middle of July. Hey, if you're just joining me on the channel, thank you for stopping by and finding the channel and welcome. If you're coming back again, thank you for your support. And as always, if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe or share. And if you have any comments, concerns, you can always leave them in the comment section below. I would appreciate it. This is for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, as well as Venus between now and the middle of July. So let's see where we are for the energy. The energy over the past week has been really relaxed. I think a lot of people have felt almost like time has stood still. Aquarius, you are going to have uh, the moon in Aquarius, I think, over the next uh, three to four days. So you might be feeling quite emotional uh, in terms of... It seems nostalgic in terms of to be specific nostalgia for Aquarius. So what do we have at the head of the reading? We have Major Arcana Strength. What a nice way to start off the reading, guys. It looks like uh, could be nostalgia around uh, passionate relationships that you've had in the past. Remembering um, a past uh, love that you have or a, a past love affair. It can also be a bit more salacious than this, remembering past intimate contacts that you had with, with a, a partner. We have also, in the area of relationship, Ten of Swords. And we have the Ace of Coins over here. So this really feels like uh, Realizing that you have to change something in your life, especially around your love life and intimate life. Uh, you can be wondering, why can't, why can't I seem to work it out? Why, why can't relationships work in my favor? Why don't relationships work in my favor? Uh, why do people constantly misunderstand me? Uh, you might feel like you're driving uh, potential lovers or like you can drive love away, like you have driven love away. It's something that you want, and it's something that you feel like you need or needed in your life, but you feel on, in some capacity that you haven't been able to achieve this. This, this can also be around family and friends. Somehow making uh, this connection with others on a more intimate and personal level, and then at some point things seem to go sour, or they feel like they, they become bitter and you're trying to understand, you're trying to understand what it takes to get it right. How do I get this right? How do I get this right next time? Or it can be for some Aquarius, how do I get this right now? Especially if you, if you've had someone new enter your life uh, and you don't want to mess it up. You feel like I don't want to ruin this. So you might be recounting and rethinking about maybe things that you've done in the past that you may like to change now to get a better result for newer connections that you're making. Uh, for some Aquarius too, this can this is something else that's coming through for this reading. This can always this can also be uh, dealing with a loss of a loved one. Um, or someone dear to you or something precious to you and but it feels like a person versus an inanimate object or a material product or thing and realizing especially if this is something that you knew would happen you were already very aware of this but still feeling the loss and realizing that it's going to take time and strain to really recover from this this is only for some of the Aquarius out there of course we have on the other side in terms of career, uh, potential, job potential, money, and opportunities. We have the seven of coins. Um, again, this, can, this feels really like wondering what you can do to change some aspect even of your career, where you may have taken a wrong turn or what you could have done differently to achieve what you thought you would have like you're 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 looking at where your career or your life is right now you don't feel like you're quite there and you're wondering if you can make these corrections 
you're wondering how you can make corrections to achieve what you want, especially if you want to buy a house or you want to buy a new car or you want to send your children to college, you're realizing that you're at a bit of a financial deficit. And uh, yeah, you're wondering how you can change it or how you can gain more or achieve more in this area. What else do we have? Again, I don't read reversals, guys. It's just how I pull the cards. If it's a reverse energy or message around it, I'll find it. Uh, we have the four of the four of wands. So again, it feels like it's around your family life, especially if you're dealing with children that you are trying to finance or fund or send to college. You may be quite worried about it and how you're going to make it and how you can really stabilize your family life and career thinking long term. I feel like the Aquarius is thinking over their long term health, uh, both physical, mental health, as well as financial health and how you can strengthen it, what you can do, what you can do to make improvements. This, this ace of coins feels like improvements in your life. So let's see if anything else is coming through here, and then I'll read from the Oracle cards your final message. Um, let's see if anything else is coming through with the thought. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, let's see where we are, guys. So, what do we have here? Very nice. We have the Four of Cups. Now, I got very nice out of this. I don't know. This is this is interesting because we have the Four of Wands and we have the Four of Cups, and this the message that came through at first was very nice, and things are moving. Like this, this element here in this um, major arcana strength card, whatever this you were struggling with or against, or whatever was stalled here that you were trying to force a change or force a move, when you were forcing it, I feel like it didn't work. And when you maybe let up a little bit, this is also letting up a bit, letting up a bit. This feels like giving up, but a different way of giving up is not always a negative thing. I give up. I'm just going to let things be. This is what's coming across, yeah? Four of Cups in the tr traditional sense with the Rider Waite. Uh, a lot of interpretations are about um, receiving something that you do not necessarily want. But uh, somehow it comes across here more like feeling uh, like these other cups were offered to you and they didn't contain the things that you wanted or someone gave you a misrepresentation. Oh, this cup will have gold in it. And you looked in there and there was no gold. There was nothing. And they hand you the next cup. Oh, I promise, I promise this cup will have silver in it. You're like, okay, I'll take the silver. And they do this again with the third cup. Oh, this gold will have, this cup will have diamonds in it. And you take the third cup and there's nothing there. And by the time they offer you the fourth cup, you doubt it because you don't want to be tricked again. So, um, you're not willing to take that chance because you don't want to be duped. So this feels the message that's coming across is take that chance, take a chance, take a risk. The Aquarius will be dealing with taking a chance and taking a risk, having the courage, the courage to take risk will benefit, will benefit the Aquarius right now. What else do we have? Look at that. Major Arcana Lust, Strength in the Thoth. This is the same card. This is the same energy here. You see that? So, what is that telling us? Especially over here on the love side, this can also be around taking a risk on a new partnership. Taking a risk um, can be beneficial. It can work out to your advantage right now. But it feels like a calculated risk with this four of cups because remember the lesson he or she already said the first the second the third this is like lessons learning your lessons remember we already had that here with this card too something about lessons and when you you can calculate the outcome about uh, any particular action or course of action based on your experiences as well guys we have major arcana this is like a the, the artist, Major Arcana, next to Major Arcana. Again, um, be creative. Be creative. 
in how you're strategizing. I also hear to turn over every stone if you're looking for something, if you're making research, really do in depth. Do not brush over any issue lightly. Make sure you do the research so that you're taking a calculated risk, especially around money and investments, and it can also be around relationships. I also heard something about a prenuptial agreement over here for, for those of you. There may be some issues around a pre, prenuptial agreement or someone may be getting ready to ask the Aquarius to sign a prenuptial agreement. This is an unusual message coming through. Here we go, here we go again. Very interesting. We have the Ace of Pentacles again. So we have the Ace of Pentacles two times now. Do you see that? Ace of Pentacles two times for the... Aquarius energy. Let's put that back over there. So if you're clever and if you plan, if you do your correct research so that you could take calculated risk around relationships, intimate relationship, partnerships, investments, or money, you'll do just fine. Especially with two aces and two strengths cards here. Everything is working towards your advantage. And now we also have to tens, we have the ten of wands on the other side. So for the four of wands to the ten of wands, you might feel like again giving up, like you already put too much time and energy. You already put too much time and energy into whatever this is, and I can't say specifically because it's it's very particular. Um, but you only you know if it's worth taking more time and energy and investing more time and energy into whatever this is, especially if it hasn't worked, hasn't worked, hasn't worked, and you have put a lot of time, energy, um, and resources into this, even if it's a relationship, same question, only you know what's, what, what it's worth in the end, how much you can take, especially if you've been disappointed over and over again with this four of cups here. You know, how much more can you put up with, with the strength here, two times, by the way. So let's pull a final... Oracle card for you guys. We're just going to... I think we're going to take that one. That <laughs> just flew. I don't know if you guys saw that. This one just flew up here. So, let's see. Call, purpose, and true prosperity. I have everything I need right now to move forward with purpose. I'm being called into a deeper, more authentic relationship with myself, with my higher power, and with others. I am here for a reason. I'm required to step forward into my true self, expressing that through my actions, I need to trust that my life has purpose and that I am enough and that within me is a divine blueprint that has meaning for myself and others. Hey guys, I think that about sums up the point for Aquarius. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again next month. Bye-bye.